Have you ever wondered why we have scientific names for animals? One reason is because regional names can differ. For example, what one person calls a crayfish, others may call it a crawfish, crawdad, or mountain lobster, and they might all be referring to the same animal. In order to avoid confusion, scientists call this animal by its scientific name, Procambarus clarkii. Scientific names allow researchers to have a common language. No matter where you live or what language you speak, scientific names are universal. Scientific names also hold a lot of information within them. They tie that organism back to its species description and to its closest relatives. These names are written in Latin and are made up of two parts, the genus name followed by the specific epithet. The person who writes the formal scientific description gets to pick its name. I study shark tapeworms and I name my first species Calibothrum schneideri in honor of my high school biology teacher, Mrs. Schneider. Scientific names convey information or characteristics about the organism. Some researchers name the animal after someone significant to them. Other times, animals are named after celebrities. In 2011, Australian researchers named a horsefly Scaptia beyoncei, after Beyonce. There are now over one million species of animals with scientific names. Each year, hundreds of new species are discovered, and many are still waiting for their scientific name. Who knows, maybe you'll get to name a new species someday.